Hi folks, um, I just realised that I haven't been through my supplements. I've been through my diet in a lot of detail. Um, I've been through my training and I'm sort of posting up little videos every now and then of, of some of my hit sessions. Um, but I haven't through, been through supplements, so um, I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what I do. Um, I don't like to take too many, but um, I do take the ones that I consider necessary. Now, at the moment I'm taking this Court RX, which is um, a cortisol... I guess stress manager because um, you know I'm holding I'm holding um, my fat around my waist at the moment, which kind of indicates that my stress levels are way too high, and that's pretty obvious anyway, just because of the fact I'm doing too much as usual. Um, Thyroplex. Now this has got support all the essential. Oops, whoa, there you go. All the essential minerals: iodine, selenium, zinc, tyrosine um, for. Thyroid support, as you know, my thyroid's um, not where it should be, which could be why I'm sort of a little bit up and down and not quite doing as well as I want to be right now. Uh, my metabolism isn't where it needs to be. Um, I'm taking dulse flakes. Um, they're a C, a C, they're an algae, it's a sea algae, and um, there's just a ton of micronutrients in there. Um, Again, to support my thyroid, really. Um, what else have we got next up? We've got the vitamin D. Now, vitamin D is, um, is excellent stuff. It's, you know, it helps with about a thousand different metabolic functions, including depression, certainly aids weight loss, um, obviously stronger bones. Um, it improves muscle function. Um, it can protect against cardiovascular disease and heart disease and reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes and cancer. So excellent stuff generally you can get enough of it from the sun but um you know with intense exercise it can get depleted so um can be worth supplementing i only take whatever the recommended dose is on that one so just a little bit of a top up there next up we've got zinc um again super super stuff and it does get depleted by intense exercise great for your immune system of course acts an antioxidant so it can help fighting things like cancer um, it's great for balancing your hormones, particularly testosterone, which is important for both men and women, of course, and um, actually helps with the produ production with estrogen and progesterone, so very important for women. Uh, can help with the regulation of uh, blood sugar, so could be important for diabetes. Um, supports heart health um, through stronger blood vessels, um, and it can actually help your digestion by um, by increasing nutrient absorption um, and of course it can help muscle growth and repair. Um, next up we have our fish oil, brilliant stuff, everyone should be supplementing with this. Um, helps manage cholesterol, particularly increases your uh, good cholesterol levels so it can help with heart disease, blood pressure. It has been shown to potentially help with things like uh, mental disorders like bipolar disease and depression, anxiety and ADD. So, um, not saying that it does, but, um, you know, uh, there are some studies that indicate very strongly that it can help. Also helps with your eye health, of course, bone health. The omega-3s can help, help with inflammation, which, of course, um, has knock-on effects with inflammatory diseases such as obesity and heart disease. Uh, it can actually help with your skin and... Um, uh, for pregnant ladies, it's very essential. The essential fatty acids and omega threes are very essential for the developing fetus. Next up, we have our magnesium. Magnesium, great stuff. Calms your nerves and anxiety. It can help relieve constipation um, and helps with muscle aches and spasms. It can prevent migraines and osteoporosis because it um, helps regulate calcium. Uh, potassium and sodium absorption and can help increase your energy. Now then, then we move on to our branch chains. Um, just, just really good all round. I always use branch chains. Um, at the moment, I have those in every in every drink of water that I have. Glutamine, good for your immune system. Helps with gut health, uh, muscle repair and recovery. You know, great in your post workout shake. Then I've got a pre-workout here. Um, this is a non-caffeinated one. Oops, let's go up here. Um, I'm kind of trying to lay off the caffeine a bit um, due to my adrenals. 
um, but this one's kind of quite good actually. It's got a decent amount of creatine in it and beta alanine, um, along with a lot of other sort of nitro oxide, nitrous oxide sort of inducers to give you that pump. Um, so that's actually quite a good one for a non-caffeinated one. And then look, I'm having a bit of issues with proteins at the moment. I'm trying this, I'm trying this egg protein, egg white protein. Um, it kind of goes, it turns everything frothy, which is a little bit weird. So um, fortunately my trainer's making his rice, pea and hemp protein again. So I'll be getting some of that next week, um, which will be nice because I that's what I usually have, but my trainer hasn't been making it. So um, now that he's making that, I will be back on that. But yeah, egg white protein, if you're looking for an alternative to whey, um, give it a go. It's got it's got a complete amino acid profile. Um, doesn't have any flavour this one, which is why I th I throw the branch chains in with it to give it a bit of flavour. But um, yeah, look, it's a perfectly good protein. Anyway, so that is my supplement stack.